Mary. Welcome back to Agencies. A good agency allows a model to focus on modeling while the agency handles the business aspect, from booking to billing the jobs. Because the modeling industry is very competitive, they have to constantly search for new talents, do extra hours of work, and invariably do networking. They extend beyond the traditional work hours. An agency usually conducts business 24 hours a day to handle emergencies and rush jobs. Truly a demanding and tough industry to break, but ultimately rewarding to handle the most beautiful and sought after faces of the world. Now let's witness the day-to-day -day operations of one of the most in-demand agencies in Argentina, Civiles Management. Achieving huge success in both local and international markets and becoming a consistent provider of gorgeous models for fashion's biggest brands, Civiles Management has progressed into connecting the worlds of fashion and advertising. The concept of Civiles was born in Buenos Aires in 2000 by Piqui Courtois, who initially had no intention of building a professional modeling agency. Having previous experience in journalism, TV producing and managing, he successfully made Civiles Management happen. Civiles empezó en el año 2000. Eh, yo trabajaba como asistente de un equipo de fotógrafos y empecé a parar gente por la calle que me parecía que tenía algo atractivo. Eh, algo fotografiable eh, y la conecté justamente con la gente con la que estaba trabajando en ese momento pero concretamente yo no, 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 no tenía ni idea que esto era un negocio ni cómo funcionaba sino que fue pura casualidad Civiles nace de esa manera y justamente se llama Civiles por eso porque lo que yo fui encontrando no eran modelos sino que eran personas que tenían un potencial natural para trabajar de modelos y creo que el mercado de la moda y la publicidad se me abrió muy rápido por ese contenido que yo estaba reuniendo más que por un plan de negocios o por una intención de convertirme en, en agente. This leading model management has the advantage of being situated in the vast natural wonderland of Argentina a country full of beautiful locations and even more gorgeous people. Eh, normalmente lo que hacemos es buscar gente permanentemente por todo el país, entrenarla, desarrollarla e insertarla en el mercado argentino. Una vez que los chicos y las chicas ya están desarrollados, ya están entrenados, empezamos a hacer una promoción con las principales agencias en el mundo. Hacer scouting es interesante, en definitiva, porque se trata de buscar una aguja en un pajar y, y que se puede encontrar en cualquier lado. Lo bueno de nuestro país es que después de tantos años de inmigraciones o se generaron personas muy particulares, estéticas muy particulares. Lo interesante de Argentina es justamente esa mezcla. Por eso los modelos argentinos son tan cotizados en el mundo, básicamente porque eh, tienen un poco de cada uno de los referentes estéticos de cualquier parte, pero todo junto, todo mezclado. Creo que, que eso es justamente lo que da mayor proyección a nuestro mercado. Of course, a pretty face is not enough to be qualified as a professional model for civilis management. One must possess that unique allure and character, and must also possess a good attitude towards their career. Los atributos para definir si una persona eh, funcionaría o no como modelo son, en principio, una contextura física por naturaleza. Eh, esas excepciones existen y eso es lo que buscamos. Gente que naturalmente tenga el porte eh, y no tenga ni que hacerse cirugía, ni que matarse con dietas, ni hacer un gran esfuerzo físico o psíquico para trabajar de modelo. Y el otro gran eh, punto determinante para seleccionar un modelo tiene que ver con su actitud, con cómo lleva esa herramienta que le dio la naturaleza, desde qué lugar se para, cuáles son sus valores, cuáles son sus intenciones. Eh, y sobre todo en lo que más nos enfocamos en civiles precisamente es en la calidad humana y en la actitud personal. El, el, el nivel de educación y de, de respeto que, que entendemos o que percibimos que esa persona puede, eh, puede manejar. 
Currently, Civilis Management has three business units. The first one is Models, whose customers worldwide are Dior, Prada, Dolce & Gabbana, and other international labels. Second is Direct Booking, a global search form providing top models for big foreign brands in Argentina, Brazil, Colombia, Mexico, and more. Y la otra beta que estamos trabajando muy bien en Argentina tiene que ver con traer modelos para bookings directos de, de cualquier parte del mundo. En general eso lo hacemos no solamente para Argentina, sino para grandes clientes en el mercado en, en Latinoamérica. Se trata específicamente de buscar eh, modelos, hacer casting en todo el planeta, literalmente, según las referencias de los, de los clientes, y hacer que estas chicas de cualquier parte del mundo viajen por dos o tres días, hagan el trabajo y, y se vuelvan. And lastly, they have a celebrities unit, a comprehensive management scheme responsible to the image and marketing of actresses, singers and other celebrities. Models and talents from Civiles have posed for Lacoste, Dolce & Gabbana, Dior, Rapsodia, Kenzo, Rochas, and fashion magazines such as Vogue and Elle. Their group of talents include Andres Riso, Carla Gebhardt, Carla Moore, Lucho Jacob, Santiago, and Tomas Guaracino. Civilis management has definitely proven its significance and trustworthiness in the industry. With the agency composing of the most excellent group of models, talents, photographers, stylists, producers and agents, Civilis is surely on top of its game. Like every business, there are no shortcuts, only hard work and perseverance pays off. Building a team, scouting for potential models, developing talents, Marketing and networking takes a lot of vigorous work. Definitely not an industry for the weak. We have just gone through three Vogue venues to bring you an in-depth look of what happens inside the world of top-notch modeling agencies. Stay tuned for our next episode as we go to different locations to witness firsthand how these industry professionals make it all happen here on Agencies. I can feel it. I can feel Discover and learn the difficult A to Z terminologies of fashion, only here on Fashion Dictionary. Dirndl skirt, a full wide skirt with a tight waistband. Very 50s chic, if you ask us. Here on Fashion Dictionary. I'm from Poland. We are on the set now for We Shooting for Harper's Bazaar Poland. Hi, my name is Asha Pivka, and um, that's it. That's me. In the sultry southern night.
love the painting and um, also I'm playing the guitar for it's like two, three years. I don't know, cooking, traveling, seeing you stop learning, studying, lots of things I like to do. Because I live in the middle of the forest and I have a private lake and I have two boats and two beautiful islands in the, um, in the middle of the lake so always I'm taking um, the boat and I'm fishing all day long so it's very relaxing for me and I can imagine to live in the other place. something comfortable I don't really care how do I look as long as it's good for me and comfy then I feel that you know that's the most important thing for me I really like my Martins and uh, I like very rock style just like leather jacket you know black pants kind of like a um, the girl with the dragon tattoo, mood, you know, this kind of stuff. I'm not the pinky, no. Okay. Mostly of my clothes are black. It's like totally black, black, gray, white sometimes, so. jest bardziej klasyczne, minimalistyczne, wygodne przede wszystkim. Najchętniej chodziłabym w sumie w dresach. <laughs> Całe życie. Discover and learn the difficult A to Z terminologies of fashion, only here on Fashion Dictionary. Valise, an overnight sized piece of luggage carried by hand. Here on Fashion Dictionary. Under the surface of how lingerie makes us feel. 
It's not just what you wear under those clothes, but an introspection of how these private intimates speak for that inner sense of sexy. It's your dose of hotness and glam with lingerie and all things in between. I'm afraid I gotta wait this for you. They say you want to. From modern muses and certified lingerie models, we bear it all. Showcasing the hottest lingerie designs and how these undergarments evoke refined sensuality. Eyes follow me around the room. Your hands speak this is something you don't want to miss. Get to know what lingerie is all about, only here on Bare Necessity. Call them intimates, private garments, underwear, or nightclothes. They can come in many names, yet a mere thought of these personal fabrics can also bring us the most sensual aspect of a person. It's only through lingerie where we can be most in touch with our inner power and sensuality, the layer closest to our skin. So it should be all about making us feel good, comfortable, and confident. From bras and garter belts to nighties and chemises and slips and robes and hosiery and shapewear and so much more, finding good lingerie would always be the foundation of a dashing outfit. Hey, it's Gosha and Kyok. We just finished uh, an underwear shooting for Polish version of Cosmopolitan. Which was uh, pretty much a lot of fun for us because we spent in a private life for a very, very long time. So basically having fun in a bed was just a pure pleasure for us. Nothing complicated. I'm from Mango Models. And Piotr is from... I'm from Panda Models in Warsaw as well. Yeah, I love traveling and sports. Lingerie is one of the most important choices you can make about your wardrobe. It can also determine how you feel about yourself. So always embrace and never feel ashamed of your lingerie choices. I don't know. If you like skimpy and ostentatious lingerie, then feel sexy in it. 
or go for the vintage stuff if you're looking for something reserved yet surprising. At the same time, there's definitely nothing wrong if you find more pleasure in wearing silk or gets better breather in plain organic cotton briefs, which are great choices as well. The point is, picking the right lingerie that works for you can make all the difference. It speaks for all things demure, appropriate, radical, vulgar, feminine, man-friendly, and much more. Never got a chance to breathe today. For a woman, the benefits of wearing lingerie are infinite. It is the only piece of clothing that can make you feel good from within. A part of your wardrobe that will never fail to make you feel desirable and undeniably gorgeous, whether clothes are on or off. I know you'll take another chance with me. Cause I know you, you know me. Where we're supposed to be. To understand the appeal of lingerie is to understand the basics of good lingerie design. Moreover, there's so much more to lingerie than simply matching pretty bras with lacy underwear. I got a chance to take a peek at you with those little brown eyes. You never know, never know when you'll get another chance. We should also keep in mind that lingerie is the first thing you put on and the last thing you take off. It is what sits against your skin all day. So it is important to look for what is essential, not just aesthetically, but also practically. You know me, out there's where we're supposed to be. So 
take your time. No one is too old or too young to wear lingerie that makes a person feel good because lingerie is worn from our own comfort and confidence. It's special and it deserves to be. Remember that good lingerie should always make you smile big time. Better, better, better place. No, 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 no. We have just explored how these intimates can totally elevate your look and overall confidence. Next, we'll look into the different lingerie basics that will keep you covered. From everyday essentials to moments that are a little more special. When Bare Necessities returns after a quick break. Discover and learn the difficult A to Z terminologies of fashion, only here on Fashion Dictionary. Boxy, square in shape with minimal tailoring, usually a cut used for jackets and androgynous silhouettes. Here on Fashion Dictionary. Welcome back to Bare Necessities. Before the break, we pointed out how lingerie can become more than just a piece of undergarment and how it can make a huge difference in the way we carry and present ourselves. Now, let's turn up the lace and discover the different styles of lingerie that bring out our best of sexy. I could show you around. We got disco clubs and biker bars. We don't claim to know it all, but we know who we are. As the saying goes, the world takes all kinds. In the world of lingerie, there is a plethora of options, and each of these brings a different kind of appeal to the one who wears it. Lingerie is not just something for women to enjoy and appreciate. It is also an essential garment that will ultimately influence the most vulnerable and intimate moments. And because no one wanted a lingerie disaster, here are the basics of lingerie design that will get you through life's most sexy surprises. The neutral slips. For those who aren't into shapewear, the neutral slip is the perfect alternative you might need, especially when you need to wear something under a sheer or white dress to make sure that no underwear silhouette is visible. The neutral slip is made of either light cotton or silk and is a total lifesaver when your wardrobe won't cooperate. It is a light and loose fabric that works best when paired with leggings. It may not be the sexiest piece of lingerie, but you wouldn't regret keeping one around when the need calls.
The Playful Romper Not all women find sleeping in a romper practical, especially during midnight trips to the toilet. However, putting on some playful romper nighties is as comfortable as wearing a shirt or a pair of boxer shorts to bed. These playful nighties are irresistibly cute, giving out a fun and flirty impression without being too intimidatingly sexy. The Slinky Robe Whether fresh from the shower or simply lazing after a good bath, wearing a slinky silk or satin robe is one of the few lingerie pieces that give you that luxurious and sophisticated feeling, even while doing the most mundane daily routine. It's a quick and easy way of adding variation to your lingerie. Aside from that refreshing feeling of satin touching your skin, it is also a rich loungewear that gives a touch of sophistication and modesty. thigh highs. The versatile pair of black thigh-high stockings are every fashionista's best friend. They're one of the most favorite lingerie pieces for most women. These black thigh highs can be a great alternative to black tights and can be an absolute sexier option to match with mid-length hemlines. Having that black thigh-high piece in your lingerie stash would surely bring your everyday lingerie closer to some 50 shades of gray lingerie scenarios. Baby doll. Commonly made from the finest silk and dainty laces, the baby doll lingerie may come in bright and sheen colors. It might be one of the least practical pieces of lingerie, but it's a surefire way of turning up the bedroom's sexy times. You will never go short of glamour and comfort when wearing one, since it is also one of the most glamorous lingerie designs any woman could have in her drawer. That is no equal when it comes to this summer breeze on my skin instead of skies in my dream everything that reveals something greater one of a kind makes me feel so fine tonight but tonight
The matching silk pajamas. By definition, lingerie refers to all sorts of intimates. This includes all the pieces of clothing that you wear in bed or under your daywear clothes. However, not all lingerie has to be low cut or need to show more skin in order to make you feel sexy. Classic sleepwear like matching silk pajamas can also give that similar 90s comfort of a baby doll. Wear these silk pajamas for a glamorous option if you love wearing sweatpants to sleep. It's just as comfortable but a hundred times more sexy and fabulous. And that ends our feature of looking into the world of lingerie and their relation to the way we dress. From revealing how these special pieces of garments can evoke every woman's refined sensuality to discovering the hottest lingerie designs, you'll never go wrong with your very own choice of lingerie. Because good lingerie might just be what every woman needs to bear it all and kick off her inner sense of sexy. This is Bare Necessity. She's such a professional, you wouldn't even know. Michelangelo. She said you need this photo shoot. I'm here for a job interview. The fashion industry needs people with beautiful faces. You can't screw this up. I'm a professional photographer. I am the queen of New York. Game on. Every Monday, London, 2030, DST. Paris, 2130, DST. Johannesburg, 2130. I try to fit the pieces together, but they still crumble up each time. I try to make sense of these feelings. Most have no reason no rhyme. My heart is like a piece of paper
Joel pour les sirènes seulement. Everywhere we go, we spot gorgeous models from huge billboards, magazine covers, television and social media. They're strutting in runway shows, headlining photo shoots, and even starring in blockbuster movies and TV shows. However, these models are successful not only because of their good looks, but their achievements are also defined by their efficient and dedicated agencies. Take an exclusive look of what happens inside the worlds of top modeling agencies as they provide one of the most essential elements to fashion's multi-billion dollar industry, the models. From castings to trainings then go sees to bookings, see how these professionals work with their talents in this very competitive, fast-paced business. We take you around the world to the most prestigious fashion capitals to get to know the power players behind the world's most beautiful faces, here on Agencies. For our new episode, we're visiting three well-established model management companies, Next Model Management in Miami, MC Squared Model Management in New York, and Liz Bell Agency in Vancouver, Canada. Get to know the lead roles from agents, bookers, scouters, managers, and casting directors, and find out what it takes to become a successful model agency. An agency's main job is to represent fashion models, investing in the development of their talents so they can increase their status and experience. It's a notoriously tough industry to pursue, but every agency searches for something different and always something new. A consistent commitment that pursues the ever-changing call for the next big name in fashion. Leading the fast-paced commercial market in Miami, let's take a look at one of the world's largest modeling network, Next Model Management. Having several offices across the globe, Next Model Management is a global powerhouse of fashion's most sought-after talents in the modeling industry. This agency represents not just the most notable faces in the catwalk, but also connects top models with leading international labels in fashion and entertainment. Running for 26 years now, the agency continues to expand and creatively evolve. What started as a small agency in New York has aggressively grown into a dynamic business, recognized in successfully finding and supporting top talents. In their office in Miami, the agency currently represents about 40 female and 30 male Next Models. I've been the director of Next Model Management in Miami for about 21 years. Next is 26 years old. We're the only privately owned agency left in the world. We're in New York, Miami, Los Angeles, London, Paris, Milan, we have an office in Canada, and then we have affiliations in Australia. With Miami's very demanding commercial market, Next Miami has become known for having an innate eye in finding talents and providing long-lasting modeling careers. What works in Miami doesn't mean it's going to work in Europe nor New York City or vice versa. Um, each market is a little bit different. Miami seems to be more of a commercial market. When we mean commercial, it's more the catalog, commercial print. Doesn't mean that the higher end and more visible clients don't come here. They do come here. They use Miami as location. But a lot of those models are flown in or brought in from our other offices. 
Miami is a little more flexible in comparison to the other markets. Here, um, a model can be about 5'8". Preferably, we go for 5'9 or taller because we like our girls to be a little bit more versatile and be able to kind of hop around different markets. The girls here are a bit more healthier looking in a sense. They're a little bit fuller, a little curvier because Miami is a very uh, uh, body-oriented market. So you can shoot a lot of swim, a lot of bikinis, a lot of uh, lingeries. From representing celebrity chefs, managing career transitions, and scouting for new faces, Next continues to creatively grow in the business. They also have a branding team that handles special bookings for top celebrities, entertainers, and models to connect with international labels. I started modeling just over a year ago. I just randomly came down to Miami with a good friend of mine, and I went to the one open call with Next. and. I assigned immediately. I didn't want to go to any other agencies. They were the only agency I really had in mind. Their scouting process is also very vital and prominent. The agency strives for professionalism and authenticity with well-experienced scouting agents that are not just professionals in the field, but are also dependable people who treat each other and the company like family. Scouting never ends. I wish there was a time where I could turn it off, but I can't. I scout while I'm at dinner, out on Lincoln Road, uh, at the movies, supermarket, you name it, I'm there. Every once in a while, I'll hit the department stores. Social media has been a big help because aside from seeing the girls' portfolios, I tend to check them out on social media just to kind of get a feel of who they are and what they look like naturally without the makeup or anything like that. consistent and precise in providing nothing less than the best to their clients, this agency gives the same dedication in taking care of and guiding their models. They're a company who works as a team with an equal board of experienced young professionals. By maintaining a strong international influence and keeping up to date with the latest demands in the business, Next Model Management remains and continues to be on top of the game, globally recognized for what they do best in the world of fashion. That ends our feature of one of the biggest agencies in Miami. Stay tuned for more as we head to the Big Apple to discover more new talents in town. Only here on Agencies. I can make you every day, every day. Discover and learn the difficult A to Z terminologies of fashion. Only here on Fashion Dictionary. Caftan, long dress robe with decorated collarless neckline and wide sleeves that are longer or elbow length. Here on Fashion Dictionary. Welcome back to Agencies. For most of us, models have the appeal of glamour and luxury. From prints to the catwalk, they get to wear luxurious designer clothes and jet set to various style capitals. But behind the glamorous lifestyle is an agency and its talent working tirelessly to develop and satisfy the needs of different clientele. Let's go to New York and take a closer look on an agency who achieves just that, MC Squared Model Management. With New York's overwhelming number of modeling networks, a prestigious modeling agency is a promising home for aspiring models who want to make it big in the Big Apple's modeling industry. MC Squared Model Management is an all-out talent management company that works in different market locations, accessing the next level of fashion and advertising internationally. MC Squared is um, by and far a boutique agency. Miami office um, is a much more uh, commercial marketplace. Uh, Tel Aviv is its own 
individual market uh, in its own country that has its own magazines, its own campaigns. NC Squared New York uh, is focusing on the high fashion, personal management of the girls that we're launching here. Launched 16 years ago, this high-profile agency in New York is directed to represent high fashion models in a boutique agency setting. MC Squared works for fashion projects and commercial shows, including print, catalog, editorial, runway, showroom, and lingerie. Company president Jeff Fuller is hands-on in the business, seeing to it that the agency maintains their high standard criteria in casting talents and working with clientele. When you work in an environment uh, where you have uh, a more boutique atmosphere, uh, a smaller group of models, you know, it, you can be more deliberate about what you want your talent to do. We've been increasing our uh, our scouting presence um, as much as possible. I've been scouting predominantly in the last year in the United States. Jean-Luc deals with most of the international traveling, Eastern Europe, uh, Russia, Ukraine. MC Squared Model Management doesn't just limit to the traditional ideas of discovering and casting for talents. The company is equally dedicated to thoroughly searching new models while seeing to it that these talents have the appropriate qualities that would make it through the international market. We're launching just a, like a whole new crop of girls right now. Um, and the reception from the various uh, you know, clients and designers has, has just been overwhelming. One girl in particular that I wish was here today is Louise. She's kind of on the forefront of things at the moment. She has done the Dior shows. Amy um, has been really well received and uh, it was really exciting that we were able to confirm her for the shoe you marry. The success of models have reached the covers of prominent fashion magazines such as Vogue, Elle, Marie Claire, and many more others across the globe. They also send and import their models across their offices in Miami and Tel Aviv, providing dynamic international exposure with high fashion brands. Anna Wang, Louis Dan, and Nadine Stripmatter are some of the celebrated models that are being presented under the roster of the company, while fresh talents such as Katie O'Neill and Amy Suzuki are currently making waves at the runways of the world's fashion capitals. With efficiency and professionalism, MC Squared Model Management New York as a global modeling enterprise has grown to be a very competitive unit in the tough modeling business. Keeping their professional values earned this company a prominent spot as one of the leading agencies in the world. After getting an in-depth look at one of the most celebrated agencies in New York, let's head further up north to check out one of the pioneers in Canada's modeling industry, right after the break. Discover and learn the difficult A to Z terminologies of fashion, only here on Fashion Dictionary. Cossack also called Zhivago, or Russian collar, which is a wide-band collar that fastens to the left side and can be embroidered. Here on Fashion Dictionary. Welcome back to Agencies. A good agency allows a model to focus on modeling while the agency handles the business aspect. From booking to billing the jobs. Because the modeling industry is very competitive, they must constantly search for new talents, put in extra hours of work, and tirelessly network with industry experts. 
extending beyond traditional working hours. An agency usually conducts business 24 hours a day to handle emergencies and rush jobs. I really feel so fine. Truly a demanding and tough industry to break, but ultimately rewarding to handle the most beautiful and sought after faces of the world. Now, let's witness the day-to-day -day operations of one of the most in-demand agencies in Vancouver. Liz Bell Agency. Lisbell Agency is a Vancouver-based modeling and talent agency that has already come a long way since its opening back in 1992. A mother agency that does not only nurture and develop aspiring talents, but also teaches young models about the highly competitive modeling business. Being a successful former model in the 80s, founder Liz Bell herself knows what it takes to become a successful supermodel. Her first-hand knowledge and experience is a trademark that quickly gained the trust of top clients in the fashion industry. I've been in the business since 1982, so a lot of these agents I work with were my agents back in the day, so I've known all these people for 34 years or however long that is. With a keen eye for scouting and discovering new faces, this agency has become a reputable source of the latest and most promising new faces to come out of Canada. With a strong and inspired team of agents working incredibly hard, the agency makes sure that all of its local and international talents are well taken care of. New faces are given a well-planned education and international modeling opportunities to maximize their blossoming career. With over 50 local talents and more than 20 international models, high fashion brands such as Dior, Louis Vuitton, Jill Sander, Coach, Yves Saint Laurent, are just some of the many shows and campaigns that this agency have worked for. Lisbell Agency has developed and managed stars such as Kate Bach, Gracie Van Gastel, Justine Sterling, and Jana Salida, just to name a few. First time I came to the office, I was so excited. There, I don't think I've ever been that excited before. Getting my photos taken, it was the first time I've ever, ever done anything like that, so obviously I was unaware of how to pose or anything, but I caught on pretty fast. No Liz was a great instructor of how to, how to position myself and how to, like, where to look and which angle to use. As an agency that evolved with experience, the Liz Bell team works together closely with their clients. Whether local or international, the company strives to provide a seamless production that pays equal attention to the interest of their clients as well as the well-being of their models. It is a company that understands the business and knows exactly what to look for, making the agency the professional success that it is today. For 
Like every business, there are no shortcuts, only hard work and perseverance. Building a team, scouting for potential models, developing talents, marketing and networking is definitely not an easy job. consistent and precise quality of service provided by Next Model Management in Miami. The personalized and focused management of MC Squared Model Management in New York. And the hands-on production of Lisbell Agency in Vancouver. We have just gone through three great places to bring you an in-depth look of what happens inside the world of top-notch modeling agencies. Stay tuned for our next episode as we go to new locations to witness firsthand how these industry professionals make it all happen here on Agencies. Hi, my name is Ada. I'm a fitness trainer. Stay in shape and tone your body. Let's go! Every Monday, London, 0700, 1600, Paris, 0800, 1700, Johannesburg, 0800, 1700,
好，我叫王玉，我是今天参与拍摄的模特。我身高一七九，三围是八四六十八十八。嗯、呃，我喜欢城市是日本和韩国，我比较喜欢那边的潮流和穿着打扮。我喜欢的乐队是 Big Bang 全智龙。呃，因为接触过韩国和日本的这些东西现在越来越多了，就比较喜欢那边的潮流或者是文化。这一季新的这一季系列呢，我们就延续了去年秋冬的，呃，古档的民族风，然后呃，用了一些比较春天的新的颜色，像这个浅粉呀、啊，然后浅蓝色呀、啊，都是呃春春夏比较流行的一个颜色吧。去年的作品也是我来拍摄的，他们家也是很流行这种长大衣，比较中国元素的东西。主要是夹了一些春天的元素，一些粉色、蓝色，但这种粉色、蓝色呢，又不是说那种很艳俗的，而是一些马卡龙色，让人感觉非常的柔和，也很小清新、小女生一些。所以今天我们的妆容呢，也做的是跟她的服装相呼应，用了一些这种马卡龙色，然后在她的呃脸部进行一个装饰。更多的呢是突出皮肤的一个质感，让它跟服装面料呢有一个很好的呼应。摄影师还有化妆师还有设计师，我们三方的讨论，然后因为我们比较适合拍那种怪怪少女系的东西，所以你看整个妆容也是比较夸张，运用的是粉色和蓝色。我本人也特别喜欢粉色，而头发呢运用的是比较复古风的这种翘翘的那种感觉。我觉得上半程的拍摄还是相当成功的，因为基本上模特跟设计师的衣服非常融洽，然后嗯，我用一种比较符合他们的方式去呈现一种出来。然后我个人也觉得这种科技感，然后极简的这种风格比较水。然后我比较想用更多的想法去延续跟丰富设计师的风格。今天你参与你早上的拍摄了，早上是 lookbook 正侧面的一个拍摄，下午是一大漂亮的一个拍摄。啊，设计师要的是那种比较奇怪的，或者是和水果比较互动的一些东西，所以现在还在拍摄过程当中。Discover and learn the difficult A to Z terminologies of fashion only here on Fashion Dictionary. Skort, shorts whose front resembles a skirt. Here on Fashion Dictionary.
everywhere we go, we spot gorgeous models on huge billboards, magazine covers, television, and social media. They're strutting in runway shows, headlining photo shoots, and even starring in blockbuster movies and TV shows. However, these models are successful not only because of their good looks, but their achievements are also defined by their dedicated and hardworking agencies. Take an exclusive look of what happens inside the world's top modeling agencies as they provide one of the most essential elements to fashion's multi-billion dollar industry, the models. From castings to trainings and go sees to bookings, see how these professionals work with their talents in this very competitive, fast-paced business. We take you around the world to the most prestigious fashion capitals to get to know the power players behind the world's most beautiful faces here on Agencies. In our new episode, we're visiting three well-established model management companies, Wilhelmina Models Modeling Agency in Vancouver, Canada, Diva Modeling Agency in Dubai, and Jill Models Management in Belgium. Get to know the main players in the world of modeling agencies, from agents, bookers, scouters, managers, and casting directors and find out what it takes to become a successful model agency. An agency's main job is to represent fashion models, investing in the development of their talents so they can increase their status and experience. It's a notoriously tough industry to pursue but every agency searches for something different and is on the constant pursuit of the next big name in fashion. A global modeling brand with over 40 years of experience leading the business, Wilhelmina Models Modeling Agency in Vancouver, Canada is an affiliate of the renowned New New York-based Wilhelmina label. This independently owned Canadian headquarter specializes in the development and placement of top models in the local and international market. As a global extension of the Wilhelmina brand, this agency is also trained under its founder's philosophy, believing that beauty, elegance, and glamour make up the true essence of a model's success. I'm Tricia Romani, and I am currently the president and agency director for Wilhelmina Models in Vancouver, Canada. Personality is half. Because if you look really cool in your pictures, and then you present in person introverted and awkward, doesn't work. The brand carries over into how you dress and how you act. Kelly Thomas, one of our top busiest models, done the cover of Shape Magazine a couple of times. She gets repeat bookings all the time because she's gorgeous and she's nice and she's kind and she's professional and she's on time and she's prepared. She's great to work with. So they just rebook you. Being one of the most prominent model management in the world, Wilhelmina Models provides a full-scale model management service and representation for both male and female models. The company prides itself on the diversity of its models and its prestigious talent development. The models are fostered by some of the industry's most talented professionals, groomed to learn all aspects of the modeling business. When I initially sign someone, it's really a journey. So in order to prepare them for a career in modeling, it's actually an ideally 
Ideally, it's a three-year process if I have my first choice. So when I want to prepare someone adequately to have a full-time modeling career, I love to have a few years. And the reason why is it takes time for everybody to get ramped up. What's the industry like? What's it about? What's the work like? Most people don't have an understanding of how the industry works, how money is made, the travel the girls have to do, the life commitment it is, how hard the job is. And I like to give them a fair chance over a couple of years to really experience the industry to make sure this is what you want to do, that you like the work, and you're prepared, and that the industry is ready for you too. So ideally, it's a three-year journey, and we start with the girl around 15 or 16 with the parents or guardians, and we're working with them for three years. Because I think it looks very glamorous from the outside, and it can be very glamorous, and it can be really fun, but bottom line, it's really hard work. Now the social media presence equals dollars. Clients want to know that you have a following and what your following is and what the demographic is. And the difference between booking one girl and another girl will be based on their social media presence. So yes, as agents, we're now working not only on building their brand as far as their look, and their category for modeling and getting them in front of the right agents and the right markets and building their whole brand for their whole modeling career around print and can they walk in heels and all that stuff. From day one, I'm also having to work with them on how they build their social media presence and maintaining the proper privacy and the proper etiquette around that. And one of my models has three quarters of a million followers. Her name is Christine Ulebo and she's 18 years old. And she had no idea, right? She started this three or four years ago just because she loved blogging and she loved fashion and everything. But now she has a really strong business because of that following. So absolutely, it's changed a lot. Together with the fast changing demands of the industry, President and Agency Director Trisha Romani shares with us the importance of social media and how the industry is changing with time. Right now I'm really excited because I am using a model scouting app to search for new faces. So it's called Mode. So as opposed to a more old fashioned way of searching for girls, what might be like mail me your photos, come to the mall and see me where I am, or uh, email me something. I've given them a structured way to submit to me within the app. They can do it from anywhere in the world doesn't cost them anything but some of their time. They can do it with a parent or guardian. They complete it and it guides them to do it in a way so that I get a format that I need to see in order to evaluate their potential as a model. So I'm really excited because we get this chance to look globally for great new faces. And with technology, I have a great way of seeing them because we can do pictures and we can do video and we can talk using various chat mediums. So it's pretty exciting. So yes, I love technology and I'm really excited to be using this app to find new faces. So I can see someone right away and know and things can start moving very, very quickly if it's the right person with the right look and the right age and the right opportunity. Today, Wilhelmina Models in Vancouver is maximizing the diverse talent that Canada offers, having new faces being regularly scouted by professional agents. And I'm always scouting because it's still very hard to find the right girl and the right fit. I think like anything, there's trends. And so you'll see cycles and they come in and out. Um, so right now, the girls are really thin. The other thing that I've noticed is that they're very tall. So there's definitely been a change in 25 years where the models keep getting taller and taller and taller. And that's for the men as well. It'll continue with the haute couture brands that want the really, really tall girls. So those girls can be like probably 6'1". From model development and client services to marketing and events, this agency is exceptional at upholding the brand's quality established in the industry. Currently, our goal here is to try and find great new faces and export them. If you want to have a full-time modeling career, which is what we focus on here, that means you're going to work all the major markets. So my models are always in Paris or Milan or London or New York, and they're working the major markets all the time. Wilhelmina Top 
top models such as Kelly Thomas and Christine LaBelle, together with the rising ranks of the agency's new faces, are gracing the stages and pages of all international markets and high fashion publications, including popular magazines such as Vogue and Style Magazine. Some of the fun clients that we've worked with are like Dior, and we've worked with BCBG. Um, one of our 16-year-olds just did Urban Outfitters, and that was very exciting for her because it's a very popular teen brand. Since its founding, the agency continues to grow and work intact, supporting aspiring models and top talents like family, and guiding their career to successfully network with clients and other affiliate agencies all over the world. After getting an in-depth look at one of the most celebrated agencies in Canada, let's cross borders to check out one of the pioneers in Dubai's modeling industry right after the break. Discover and learn the difficult A to Z terminologies of fashion only here on Fashion Dictionary. Cowl. Draped neckline resulting from bias cut with excess fabric, forming soft folds in front or back. Here on Fashion Dictionary. I'm better. Welcome back to agencies. For most of us, models have the appeal of glamour and luxury. From prints to the catwalk, they get to wear luxurious designer clothes and jet set to various style capitals. But behind the glamorous lifestyle is an agency and its talents, both working tirelessly to develop and satisfy the needs of different clientele. But I can't seem to know where it's coming from. Let's go to Dubai and take a closer look on an agency who does just that, Diva Modeling Agency. Lock it up, all alarms turned on. Tie it down, ready for the storm. Keep it safe, making sure no one takes a bath. Decorated with an all white, chic Manhattan like interior and a multicultural, fashion forward staff, make up the headquarters of Diva Modeling Agency in Dubai. Former haute couture fashion model and managing director Nicole Rodriguez started the company in 2003 with a vision to create a modeling institution that protects the rights of models, promoters, and clients alike. I'm Nicole Rodriguez. I'm the founder and CEO of Diva Models. Um, Diva has been around since 2003. 2003, when I came to Dubai, I noticed that, you know, um, because I used to be a model myself, and uh, I came here direct, you know, as a, for direct bookings with photographers, and it was predominantly freelancers. So that's when I decided to set up, you know, a company or a firm where models could actually go, new faces could be launched, portfolios could be started, you know, model training courses could come about. Initially, it was supposed to be a safe place for like young girls, yeah. you know, to to be able to go and you know be a model and be safe and be you know have proper policies and procedures and copyright in place and not be exploited. So that's who Diva is. I mean, Diva is is the epitome of you know retaining the right way of the industry. From the company's humble beginnings, the agency has grown to become the most sought-after modeling agency in the Middle East, working with a network of over 15,000 professionals. Um, so when we started off, we, we found a lot of interesting talent, like, you know, like Anna, who's now a very popular TV presenter, or, or let's say Graciela, who was here. 
um, these are you know young girls who came here were working let's say Graciela was working in a restaurant in Atlantis and then when we found her we scouted her we you know her first we put her onto the L'Oreal ad that gave her her first big break today she's on every holding and magazine that you can see so there's a lot of talent that we're always bringing on, on onto the platform so it's not only catering to the exclusive international global talent that we already have a pool of that we have collaborations with but also the lot of local talent that we actually bring out from here and then I'll send out internationally as well my name is uh, Nipin I'm from India originally, but I've lived all around the world. I grew as a booker. I joined as a booker. So I came from the lowest level. Um, I grew pretty fast. Uh, Diva that way has given us a platform to, to excel. And quite soon, um, it was evident that I would, I would be better off servicing all the big clients. Diva Modeling Agency is one of the pioneers of Dubai's modeling industry. With almost 14 years of experience, the agency has become a key player in most of Dubai's high-profile fashion events. Recent projects that I've done, the Marks and Spencer Fashion Show, end-to-end -end production, from speaking with the client, coming up with the right um, models that fit the brief, uh, casting, um, the main show production, the whole nine yards. Um, before that, I was uh, involved in a Lamborghini um, store launch in Dubai Mall. The company has around 2,000 local and international models and has worked with the best clients and international fashion labels such as Nike, L'Oreal Paris, Marks & Spencer, Gucci and Cartier. Average looking uh, homemaker, um, she's a mother, um, she's just sitting at home, she's just thought, okay, let me give modeling a chance. And, uh, I mean, she's there in that 17,000 phase. I was just looking, I mean, uh, Danette came to us saying that they wanted a mid-30s uh, to, to late-30s model. I booked her again um, a week later, and now even the bookers are aware, okay, wow, this, this face seems to work in the market. She has pretty hands as well. I just booked her as a hand model for a famous uh, telecom shoot. So yeah, so she's happy, we are happy. The company's well-rounded agents and bookers are very meticulous with their scouting and booking process, making sure every detail is impressively delivered beyond client expectations. Aside from model development, Diva also integrated event management and strategic communication consultancy in its list of services. Hi, my name is Fatima. I'm from Philippines. I've been with Diva for the past 10 years. Uh, I'm one of the head booker. So basically, let's say if I have a client who is actually looking for a model, specifically for the brand. Uh, the client will send us a request. So once from then, we will send them an options of models based on uh, the criteria that they're looking for. From then, of course, it comes with a code. And once the clients approve the code, we will send them for a casting. From the casting, we will shortlist the models. From then, the client will confirm the models. And of course, we will do the shoot for the client itself. Over the years, the agency transformed the region's modeling industry with out-of-the-box perspective and a deeply rooted local expertise. It strives to be a one-stop shop for all types of promotional campaigns, having a reputation for providing top-class international models and talents, molded with high fashion standards. My name's Ingrid, I'm from the Philippines. I've been working for Diva for five years now. I started as a assistant booker, and now I'm the, one of the head booker and a producer here in Diva. You can tell if the model is really eager to do modeling, if he, he or she has a face, she has a proper portfolio, meaning you can present it to the, to the client. I do, I have. I actually, I'm one of my regist uh, first registration in Diva. Um, he came here with a simple pictures. He came here with a picture with Kandura. He came here with a, uh, a picture with him wearing a t-shirt. But the picture was really nice. 
once we start sending his picture to the client, boom, 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 till now, he's doing all the jobs. Reliability, long-term commitment, and professionalism are the three key qualities that set Diva Modeling Agency apart from the rest. That ends our feature of one of the biggest agencies in Dubai. Stay tuned for more as we head to Belgium to discover more new talents, only here on Agencies. Discover and learn the difficult A to Z terminologies of fashion, only here on Fashion Dictionary. Filigree, ornamental work of fine wire, usually in silver or gold, with the addition of tiny beads. Here on Fashion Dictionary. Welcome back to Agencies. A good agency allows a model to focus on modeling while the agency handles the business aspect, like booking or billing the jobs. Because the modeling industry is very competitive, they must constantly search for new talents, put in 